Good morning, everybody. It's me again, crazy bag lady. <coughs> Excuse me. Sometimes in the morning, you need to wake up to a bit of fish action. <laughs> oh, dear. So we've got up, sort of drew me. My hubby's took her to the bus stop. So I haven't had to go out of the house, but I have had to get up. Um, I've come in here to make myself another cup of tea, and I just saw Dolly running around with fish in my mouth, and I was like, is this real? <laughs> it's so funny. Stop attacking Winnie with your fish and stop all trying to hide underneath my dressing gown. So I'm just making myself a cuppa. I hope you're all well. I've got another storm on the way tonight and I think it's going to start raining in a bit and it's like, oh, it's such a dark day. I cannot believe how dark it is outside. So it's about eight o'clock and it's so gloomy. Oh, come on. We need a bit of sunshine like last week. It was lovely last week. Oh, right. It's quarter past nine. I've no idea why it's taken me so long to get dressed this morning. Well, not, I'm not even dressed. I've been doing my makeup and my hair and faffing about. I didn't sleep very well. Obviously, I've got a bit of this horrible cold and I woke up in the night covering my head off and then, like, my back was really hurting and I was like, oh, trying to roll over and my back was, like, stiff and stuck. It's horrible. So I don't feel very rosy today and it's took me a while to get ready and it's now raining outside. Oh, what a miserable day. <laughs> We're really going to need to work hard to be cheerful today. So, Pat, Peggy, and everybody, me, little Bubba, bless him, positive potato. I hope your mental health is okay today. I think when the weather is like like this, it does make you feel very gloomy. And if you already feel a bit down, it can make you feel even worse. So, sending you a little bit of yellowy sunshine, and don't forget, some better days are on the way. So, calendar of the day, uh, Tuesday. Oh, a bit of pink. Carry out a random act of kindness with no expectation of reward, safe in the knowledge that one day someone might do the same for you. Oh, that's so lovely. And I always think that if you can help somebody, then do. I mean, like yesterday with my neighbour, I was a bit, not moaning, but I was like, oh, I don't want to go to the doctors for her. But I did. And you think, you know, you hope one day somebody will return the favour to you. So if you can do something kind for somebody today, then do. It does make you feel better. And it's just so nice to know you've helped somebody. So, Lorraine's magic. Best witch. Ooh, best witchy. And then older, wiser, sexier from Lovely Penny. We've got, um, it's taken a lot of willpower, but I finally kicked the urge to diet. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. When I get really old, I'm just going to eat loads of cake and drink and everything. <laughs> My neighbour often has a glass of Bailey and stuff in the day. And I think, yeah, I don't blame her. Anyway, happy Tuesday, everyone. And then you walk into your kitchen. <laughs> I can't believe she's asleep like this. Why are you asleep like that? That is the strangest sleeping position ever. And you don't care, do you? You're very proud of how you're asleep. <laughs> I'm trying to get dressed. So Florence has gone back to bed, bless her. And Dolly loves the fact that there's no clothes rail there because it means she can run up and down. Is it nice, that little bit of carpet? <laughs> hmm. So we've gone from fishes to foxes, I think it's a fox. <laughs> I don't actually know where the fish is. What did you do with the fish? Hey? What did you do with the fish? Where is the fish? Where's the fishy? <clears throat> what have you done with him? Have you turned him into a fox? You are clever. <laughs> oh my gosh, I don't know what I'd do without my dogs. They do make me laugh so much. Um, and I talk to them far too much. I know other people that have dogs are the same. They're like your little best friends, aren't they? Are <laughs> you a statue? Why are you not moving? You're practicing your yoga. Hey, why are you not moving? You look weird. <laughs> why are you not moving? Is your friend coming? Because they know it's Bramfley time. Where's your friend? Look at her, it's like a bloody statue. Are you playing musical statues? You are oh, clever. Oh, you've moved. <laughs> Here's your friend, look. When you know, you know. It's from Plato. 
Right, can you guess what time it is? You know, don't you? It's Brunkley time! Right, so Winnie's still in bed, so she'll have to have her soon when she gets up. Right, ready? There you go. There you go. <laughs> Was that nice? Right, now for my breakfast. I've got uh, 30 grams of brown flakes, blueberries, I'm going to have it with skimmed milk. Ooh, right. 11.15, I've been on the phone to my mum. Me and my mum have been putting the world to rights and at the same time, I've been multitasking and cleaning my uh, windowsills and stuff. Because I've got these like slatted blinds, um, sometimes you don't realise it gets quite dusty the other side of the blind that you don't see. So I've lifted them all up and given them a real good wash down. It smells lovely of lavender. And it's raining still. It's a bit miserable. Oh! And here I am. Don't think I've even been on here today. I put my yellow jumper on to be cheerful and not even shown you it. So how would that work? <laughs> so here I am in my fluffy yellow jumper. Definitely doesn't match my belt, but who cares? It's absolutely pouring it down with rain now and the wind is really awful. So I'm guessing this storm begins with J. Of course it does. Things with J are always trouble. <laughs> um, so it's storm... Do you sure of something? I can't remember what they said. Um, but because it's quite a strong storm, it gets a name. They're working their way through the alphabet, apparently. So the other one was Aisha, and this one's Josh or whatever it is. But ooh, you think, oh, go away. We don't want any more storms. So I did ring my mum. While I was on the phone to my mum, I did a tiny bit of ironing. I'm trying to do little and often. So as soon as I get a bit of ironing, I do it, and then it's done. I've been dusting my sitting room, and it is now 10 to 12. So I'm just going to make James some dinner, because James is off today. So I'm making some dinner, and... Make myself a nice cup of coffee. Florence, you've got very noisy little footsteps. Right, let the dusting fun continue. I'm not very good at dusting. I'm good at hoovering, but I can never be bothered to dust. <laughs> We're lady bones, aren't we? Are we dusting? Serious business. You know, it's serious business when the duster comes out. So I see you've got your fish again. <laughs> no, it's not. No, it's my duster. You've got your fish. Hey. They all followed me in the kitchen because they obviously know it's dinner time and they were like, oh, she must be getting her dinner ready. And they're a bit confused because I've come back in the room. <laughs> right, we're still dusting. I keep debating about painting this fireplace because I've had it, I've had it ages. I think it must be about 11 years old, something 12 years old. So we've had it a long, long time. But it does throw out a lot of heat. It's really useful at night. It's ever so warm. Um... But I don't like the frame. It's like gone a bit yellowy. So I keep debating about painting it, but pff, I've no idea what colour I could paint it. <laughs> She's still got the bloody fish. <laughs> I'm not swapping my duster for your fish. No. No, thank you. <laughs> you can keep your fish. Hmm. Dolly now thinks she's an ornament that she can sit on the puffy and be an ornament. <laughs> oh, that bloody fish. <laughs> The other two are like, really? <laughs> She's on a mission today. <laughs> I bet you really want to go for a walk, don't you? But it's so horrible out there, Donnie. I'm not going out there. It's awful. So you have to make do with your fish. <laughs> it's dinner time. So look at the pair of them. You're not daft, are oh, you? Yeah. Right, so dinner say we've got uh, a white roll from Tesco. Uh, cooked chicken which is this it's like trump chicken so when you open it it smells of trumps um, you can get it from most places I think or a similar sort of thing this is Tesco one but I think most supermarkets do a similar thing and then I've got some cranberry sauce over the top honestly it's so delicious um, it's quite low in calories as well so lovely so I've got 60 grams of that I have weighed it out because I'm trying to be good and I will save my friends a little bit of chicken as well look at Florence's tail oh are you excited about a bit of chicken I oh, know oh, that made me jump <laughs> and it's still raining it's miserable I'm sat on my little green chair they're actually really comfy these chairs are I don't sit on them enough they're very nice right you have to wait for me to eat mine first then you can have some right do you love me because you love me or do you love me because I've got chicken <laughs> that's the correct answer you love me for me <laughs> and you love me second because I've got chicken <laughs> Or is it the other way around? I think you're lying. I think it's the other way around. I think you only love me because I've got chicken. <laughs> anyway, I'm teasing you. I've got your two bits each because I love you so much and because it's such a miserable day. 
Right, are you ready? I cannot believe that I spend all my days just talking to dogs. <laughs> right, are you ready? I wouldn't have it any other way. Love you all dearly. Right, are you ready? I'm going to have to throw it so you split up a bit. Right, Dolly, go and get that. Florence. Winifred. Winnie's a bit, a bit slower, as we know. You have to you have to wait a minute. Wait, let Winifred eat hers. Wait. No, she's not finished it yet. Oh, Winifred. Is that it? Is it all gone? Right, are you ready? Ding, ding. Round two. <laughs> right. Are you ready? Right, there's one. Right, Dolly, two and three. Honestly, the fastest one out of, all, of them all. No, no! <sighs> Winifred! Winifred! Dolly's eating it! Winifred! Winnie! Dolly's already eating it. I'm going to have to go and get you another bit. Hang on. And I love the fact it still doesn't get out of her bed. <laughs> <laughs> right, Winifred, you've got a double treats. Actually, your bran flakes here as well. So, there's your first bit. There's your bran flake. Right, get that. And then when you've had that, you can have your bit of chicken. I can't believe you stole a chicken. You're a meanie. Right, no, no. Right, uh, Winnie. I'll get the names fixed up. Right, is that it? Did you eat it? Good. Next time, eat quicker. <laughs> Lipstick of the day. So it's. Nearly half past one. I might, I've got a nip and take a parcel. Um, and then I thought I could nip to charge shop, but I don't know if it's really fit to go out. I can't weigh up the wind, I'm not sure. Um, anyway, so I've put my lipstick on. So I've got on Avon Power Stay Lip Colour in uh, Can't Quit Cafe, which is one of my favourite nudes. It's so nice. It's, it's like concrete. You have to scrub it off at bedtime, but it is so lovely. It doesn't come off on anything. You can kiss your hands, anything, it just doesn't come off, it's so good, love the red one as well, and this is my favourite nudie one, can't quit Cathy, right, ready to go, so bag of the day, I've got a little old lady going with me, it's my little vintage bag, she's very old, but I love her dearly, very special, right, let's go, I'm well wrapped up, Ooh. right, I've arrived at the charity shop, I must be mad, it's raining, I really shouldn't have come, I nearly turned around and went home, because it were absolutely pouring down there. I thought, Jane, you're nearly there, just go. So we're here, we'll go for a little wet rummage.
tongue me, her best friend, she can't me at all speak. She can't my ear and couldn't believe it. And then we went to Cuba the year after, and I lost it again. I couldn't talk about it. Oh, that's beautiful. I know. Yeah. raining again <laughs> so it stopped then it started again i bought nothing the only thing i bought was a magazine my favorite grazia magazine and that was it it was a bit boring in there but it was nice to get out of the house for a little bit just to get some fresh air so anyway let's go home right we're home half past two we're gonna go and post my neighbor's paper through i'm not gonna knock today because didn't feel very well yesterday so i thought i'll just push it through today for her I like your music. I love your music you've got on. That's lovely. Enjoy yourself. It's later than you think, Winifred. Oh, and I've lit my candle so the kettle's on. Look at my lovely flowers. Um, I've lit, lit me blah, blah, blah. Get my voice out. Lit my lovely cosy candle. And there's a lovely song on the radio. I don't know if you can hear it. I think to myself. What a wonderful world. Aww. Right, next job. I'm making my favourite sweet and sour chicken. So I've got all my ingredients. Let's get it. Apart from that, I was cough mixture. I thought, what's that one? That's not ingredients. Um, so we'll get these rustled up. My coffee was lovely. No cake, no biscuits. <laughs> right, so we're back in the car. We need to go and get Ruby off the bus now. Oh, I'm worn out. Back home again. Little Florence outside peeing again, bless her. I looked at Winnie out, she thought Winnie was dead when I came home. She literally hasn't moved, and I was looking at her thinking, Is she breathing? She is breathing, she's just absolutely fast asleep. But I was like, Is she okay? Bless her. <laughs> right, come on in, then, Florence. Good girl. It's horrible out there, isn't it? It's really windy. Can you guess what song I've got on the radio? <laughs> We're probably the only people in the world listening to this right now. <laughs> I can't think many people will be listening to Itsy Bitsy Teeny Weeny Yellow Polka Dot Bikini. All right, hop is four. So normally I'd be rushing around to make my husband's tea, but he's got stuck at his first job and he's going to be late going to his second job. So he's going straight to his other job and he's not coming back for his tea. Oh dear. So I'm not cooking mine just yet. Um, I'm starting at about five o'clock, so it's ready for about half past five. So we're going to sit near the fire and just sit down for half an hour and do nothing. <laughs> the tea is in the oven. So I just need to make my sauce now to pour over it just before it finishes. Oh, it's so tasty. Oh, and that's my tea. I forgot about my new plate. I said, Trivi, I've lost my pie plate. But I found it in the cupboard. So this is my posh little Demidale by Century pie plate, 1988. Off to enjoy my lovely tea. As a chef from a farming family, I know what makes great tea. My tea was delicious. It was a bit hot. I'm not sure what I put in it, but it was a bit spicy. Right, are you ready? Tea time! Right, go on. I have to bend because my back. Oh, right, there you go. Oh, my back's still hurting. It's gone off a little bit, but whew, it's still tender. Not very good where we bend. Right, ready? There we go. Right, hang on, my darling. One moment. Uh, right, there you go. Oh yeah, yeah, clever. Hang on, your door shut. Wait a minute. Oh, right. There you go. 
Ooh, and I think it's really windy outside. In fact, this door's not shut properly. Oh, no. It's a bit roary, like it was the other day. Oh, I hope I fancy stand it. I'm going to love you and leave you so many thanks for joining me again today i hope you've enjoyed it obviously it's been a horrible day weather-wise again and it makes you feel really gloomy so i hope my little yellow jumper's cheered you up a little bit um you have to do what you can when the weather's like this <laughs> so if you do enjoy just a little bit of real life then please subscribe to my channel come and find me on instagram as mrs crazy bag lady my dogs have got instagram which is sweet fluffles my avon is down below my website is down below so down below so i love you and leave you i'll see you tomorrow